We are here on Earth. I don't know what day this is on Earth, but we're here and uh, we're waiting on Sager. Today, we're hanging out here to work on. Is the mic on? The mic is on. Uh, to work on stuff. So he should be walking through that door any minute. It'd be awesome if you just busted through right now. He did not, and that's pretty much what the day is going to be. So uh, I don't even know what this little talk is about, really. Just warning you. Warning, this vlog is a vlog. I've been arguing about Nike all day. So keep getting tagged and shit. I don't even ask for this shit. I just keep getting tagged. Keep getting tagged. Man. Keep getting tagged. Everybody this year is like, Nike's doing so good, man. You gotta admit it. You gotta admit. They're like, they, everything they're dropping is super fire. They're dropping the same shit they've been dropping for the last 20 years. They're just finally giving you fucking idiots the shit you asked for. They're finally giving you all the models that you wanted from 20 years ago. Like they literally just announced like shoes that have never retro before this year are retro and for the first time. People are like, oh my God. It's like y'all are worse than fucking like lame dudes who can't handle no women. Like y'all just let these motherfuckers walk all over you. Like, she, like Nike just left y'all outside the club and went in with another dude and came back out four hours later and you still standing there. That's exactly what a fucking Nike customer is like. Yes, yeah, said it. Fucking all day with this shit. They're, re they're retro in the Ultra Boost creams this year. You ain't saying shit about that. I'm not buying them. <laughs> There's in there, I don't wear motherfuckers. You don't, need, you don't need to fucking buy retros when you hit every single fucking drop. Huh, huh, tell them, tell them, tell them, Mayweather, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell Fight. 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 You need to think about smoke off. Blah! Can you make your food? Yeah. These are seriously the best. I told him I'd stop drinking soda if he'd send me 300 of them. <laughs> Came in like yesterday. I already drank all of them. You're good. Come on. Try the blueberry. Yeah. It's almost awesome. like that vitamin water, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. I thought you sold those. <laughs> I thought I sold a lot of stuff. <laughs> you tried to sell them, didn't you? No. I don't know about this one. I'm pretty sure you did. We're gonna update a collection video. Let's do it. Those are probably, those probably aren't even fucking the pitch blacks. Those are probably the wool NMDs and you probably painted the fucking black boots. Yeah. I'm trying to trick everybody. <laughs> exactly what happened. No, I took the tri-colors and I melted the stripes <laughs> off. So I don't think the uh, tour bus is gonna work. Because how much it costs? Well, not even how much it costs. Like, just the fucking frequency isn't right. My idea is to stay in each place for oh, an extended period of time, like two or three days. Or about you pay for it by the day, no matter what, in the driver. And the reason is because you're usually like, we're in Cleveland tonight, and then tomorrow we're in fucking Georgia. Like, and they drive you through the night. Yeah. We're not trying to do that. Like, we're trying to hang out. So that's not going to work. We'll be paying, because it can be up to 1500 a day for a driver, gas, and everything. That's like everything. So. That's not gonna work. We wouldn't even be able to keep up with pop ups that quick. You know what I mean? Right. It's like once a week on the pop up scale. So we need to figure out what, I think the plan should be to figure out what kind of vehicle we can get, what we should get, and then I don't know what's available though. Like, I don't know if you get like a Winnebago. Like, I don't know what there even is. I don't know if those like big Mercedes vans things are big enough. You know, we, you know, we saw like at the mountain that had those, those 10 families in it and shit. Like, I don't know if that's big enough for me earning a mark. You know, I don't have any idea what's available. But I feel like with that, we'll say buddy, like it won't be like a, it won't be like a expensive as a tour bus, obviously. So I mean, tour bus, we did like eight weeks, it's $80,000 basically. But if we just got like a, if we got, if we rented a fucking, I don't know, a Winnebago, what the fuck is Winnebago cost to rent? Then you don't even need it. That's another thing, having a driver is weird as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we'll have to hang out with like a third dude or chick that we don't know. Gonna have to like want to smoke weed or deal with us smoking weed, whatever we feel like I'm doing. So, and then we need to map out the route. Because I need to present, I talked to everybody. Everybody seems really interested. I say worst case scenario, the dog, we sell stickers for a hundred bucks for the back. It's like, yo, you want your Instagram on there? <laughs> like, we'll just say, like, if they're a hundred bucks a piece, how many do we have to sell to get a hundred thousand? A thousand? All right, we could do that. A thousand Instagram ads on the back of the Winnebago for the tour. To figure it out. I'm not sure how this whole get a Winnebago and wrap it works. Cause it's going to cost like, Almost, it's like $15,000 to wrap a fucking window. It's like $3,500 to wrap a car. Really? Yeah. You sure? Look, we got like somebody that does wrapping. I feel like I know someone that does it. Fuck, I know a chick that does it. Hey, man. Are you out there in the world? Do you wrap Winnebago with graphics? Do you? 
Hey, witty, there you go. Oh my god, I hate when they do all these quotes where you have to have it sent to you. 400 bucks a night. For a Winnebago? For uh, not even a, uh, not a big ass RV, but just yeah. like a sprint. Uh, it has two twin beds in the back. Cheaper than a hotel. Like a kitchenette. And it's a rental car too. 400 bucks a night though. Times 70 nights, just do 10 weeks just to be safe. It's 40,000. 30, 40, that's half the price of a fucking tour bus though. But that's what sponsors, that's where we're gonna get sponsors to come in. That's only $1,500 Instagram stickers. Oh, dog, you want your app? You want your app physically driven from fucking coast to coast? Bonus in Tokyo? Put your app in Tokyo? Holler at me, we might just sell thousands of stickers. I'm just saying, it's an idea. Non, non corporate sponsors, you yeah. know? We'll just be fucking stuff. We'll be like crowdfunded. We might as well just buy a screener. How much is that? But then what are we gonna do with it after we're done? How much you play on turn every year? I mean, probably. We're just gonna buy a fucking tour bus now. <laughs> well, if we do that, can we just fucking do it in payments? I mean, can we just like lease one? Put that fucking good credit to use, dog. I didn't even think about that. Hell yeah. Let's get one, dog. Do it today for the vlog. Yeah, I lit the vlog with me. We just talked in Mercedes. I was gonna sit in the front with the symbol and be like, Shit's been dry since I caught Nikes. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so many people who still comment every day, like, who don't know what's happened and they still say shit. I can't believe y'all still like this dude's shit he's after he wore those Nikes. I mean, I could just live in it when I get back. I don't know what I'll do with the shoe collection. Like, I could, that could just be the new shit. Like, the vlog could just take a turn where I'm just living in a fucking RV for life. <laughs> It'll just be like this high beast RV life. Although I was excited about the possibility of having a driver and it not being earned. Statistically, I'm probably gonna get injured soon. <laughs> Maybe I'll start driving a little more. Just to kind of buffer that out. Buffer out the numbers. Shit, I gotta get the other shot. Damn. Um, look at that. Pizza about Sager. Gluten free, vegan, dairy free. No, none of that. Uh, just gluten free. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? <coughs> this is salad chop. You should this. slice the pizza with it. It's like a breadstick swiper. I love this slice. I think we just did something, dog. It looks like breadsticks. Ted sticks. Head sticks. We call them out here. We just have to hit it one more time across the middle with a, just a single blade. Just one across the middle. Well, the center and turn into Sager squares, though. <laughs> right? But you want like one center, but like I'm saying, tiny if little bite you go across side. the center with that thing, you're going to hit Sager. You're making Sager squares in the center right now. First time ever in the history of man. And they're just going to come up. Boom! Fucking Ted sticks with the side of Sager squares. <laughs> the fuck you know about it, dog? Bite size. <laughs> Damn. That's what's up right there. You're welcome. Burn. Nice. Yes, that's perfect. Look at this. Agile makes oh. every trip an adventure. Oh. Tripping in the seas. No matter where you're Picking driving. up the ladies. The smallest coat. His band's line. Woo. Built on the renowned short spreader chassis. Mm. The SF loaded with safety features. Providing even the most nervous of drivers with a total. <laughs> <laughs> galley paired with the large panoramic windows. You see that big screen in there? Mm -hmm. I won't be or fucking Twitch streaming from that bit, <laughs> son. <laughs> the Agile can make a great set of meals. L's from the fucking Walmart parking lot. The kitchen has everything you need to cook a great meal. Is there a stove? Yeah. You'll yeah. Cook. Hell and yeah. Let's not assess it. Fucking you flick of the wrist. Fortunately, <laughs> We can do different segments. Like this is like a West Coast rental place, like uh, from right. here over. Then we have to switch each time. You gonna wanna stay in the same fucking vehicle for fucking I 10 guess. weeks? I guess I just don't wanna move out. <laughs> you're gonna wanna move out. I do, yeah, you're right. But then we can't really wrap it. No. I wonder what are you doing? What are you doing during this creative day of planning? I mean, does the value of the total, oh, you know I don't buy cars, so I'm just saying. Does the value of the total car affect the leasing price? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, like a fucking Lamborghini. More like <laughs> the least than a, two, two, yeah, like, more like, like a, two, more like a $2,000 month lease. So right now, just off the uh, top of my head, I have 25 stocks that could easily be done. Like, you know what I mean, places that I know of. <clears throat> if you were to be driving every fucking day, that's a month worth of stocks. I know. So that's what I'm saying. If it's a three month thing, then that makes it where you could spend like three days in each place. Not three days. 
can you figure? I don't know, 25 places mm -hmm. in a month? Yeah, it was every day, yes. That you're driving out, yeah, all day, every day. 25 places in three months mm -hmm. would be literally driving, you get to do your pop-up and then get back in the car and go. Like if you had- So you then we need to narrow it down to how many places? I would say 15. I'm talking about one with a tattoo and yeah, like I mean, interview people. That's why we're at, that's why we're having this conversation. You're gonna get somewhere and be like fucking tired of being on the road. 15 places. It's gonna be hard, people are gonna get mad. Ugh. This is where we're on the road for 12 weeks. This is where we need Ernie. Because we, because <laughs> we need, I need to, I need reminders of like how long bands tour for 15 different shirts instead of 25 different shirts. We're also, you have to think about 25 different shirts, you're trying to drop these every two days. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Uh, this, is, this is like how you're trying to take Daisy on a tour. Right? You last year, no man, I drive for three hours a day. I was like, three hours a day? <laughs> You fucking aren't even gonna make it out of the state. Bro. Wow, man, I'm just here to dream Three big, days. dog. I don't do it. I, just, I dream big so that I can create nightmares for everyone else around me. Ugh. Honestly, you should plan on one stop every five days. Your first three days, you're going to date in that destination, and then the next two days, you're trying to be realistic about how long it's gonna take you to get from one place to the other. Yeah, I feel you. And then San Francisco, LA, like uh, eight hours. Yeah. So that's what? That's not that long. It's a short drive. Eight hours ain't shit, dog. What are you talking about? I've driven across country how many times? Save that video. Eight hours ain't I'm shit. I can't even four be hours. for eight minutes. We I don't even know what I'm talking about. Four hours. I'm going to be in a luxury RV, so I'm not going to care. I'm just going to be fucking on Twitch, like, brow, clapping fools from highway. You get that kind of service while traveling? No, no. Probably not. I'm going to figure that out, too. I got a lot to figure out. Hey man, dream big, all right? So right now it's like Portland, Seattle, LA, SF. I guess San Diego is probably out. I mean. San Diego, LA, the same thing. Yeah, they're close enough, right? Sorry. Do it in order. Welcome. Where are you going? Houston. Um, I had back to Colorado for a second. Why would you come back here? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say it? You said that. You said that so funny. <laughs> I don't know, don't people usually have like a home though they go back to their like not not my not, not, not my store. Right, cool. Well, then the next one what color? Because where are you gonna go from Colorado? House? No. Rejuvenation, so, spirit. Circle quest. circle it because it's not part of the fucking fifteen. Austin then Houston. No then Dallas. Fuck Dallas. Woo! I mean you could hit his words. Hey, <laughs> you're running out of fucking. This is my mom obviously, so Greensboro. And then you're working your way up into like Philly, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. You're at 21 cities. 21, 21. About a fucking five month tour. I don't think it'll take that long. I think we just need to map it out. Whatever, however long it fucking takes then. I don't care. However long it takes. It's all for the fucking, this is what we need to do. What's up, my bohemian brother? I think it's 10 a.m. Colorado Springs, so it's gonna be an early ride for me and you. That's fine, if that's what we need, if that's what we gotta do. But the thing about all this, the time. What do you mean? The time. Like, to get this going, we need to get... Yeah, we need to get ahead of designs and everything. All of it. I get it. Not just designs, but getting all the shit booked. And then the other thing that sucks yeah. is like, okay, so... <laughs> laughs at us, doesn't want to give us, or they're like, we'll give you 10000 towards it. You mm -hmm. just, we'll pay for the wrap, basically, and then we'll give you money and gas. So then we get that, and we go ahead and do this Patreon thing, and that falls short. I don't think that, I'm, I don't really think like that. I mean, we can always take a loan. Yeah, I just don't think, I mean, I just don't think I'm that, just trying to think it all out, man. No, I know, I just don't think that we'll have trouble, like, I mean, it doesn't seem, it's literally like a hundred grand. Less than a hundred grand, really. It's really just like. And that also could change with the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, that's who knows? Like, that's like, that's like to, high end, like that's the high scale. Well, that's like trying to rent some RV from a camping place. Yeah, so then the other thing we need to do is just find locations for each city. Oh, we didn't put Detroit in there. We have to go to Detroit. Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago. Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago. Yeah, I think it's four hours from Cleveland. Okay. And then four hours from Chicago. That's good, because flying out of Chicago, if we end up doing this Tokyo thing, will be best. As far as Omar goes from Chicago, I'm literally probably going to have, like, I'll probably pay someone to fly in Chicago and drive them back here. Huh. Someone will take you. Or still not take you. You can't go to Worst case scenario, man, I just sell the shoe collection. 
what my idea was initially, and then I was like, I'm gonna put together a proposal, and I'll tell you what we, you know. I mean, everybody knows I need help financially with it. You're not only getting it outside, like in the real world, like when I'm traveling around in every event, you're also getting it on the vlog every single day. You know what I mean? Like, and that right there is enough. I mean, there's advertising dollars in that alone, like three months. Um, and then there's just probably people I'm not thinking of, you know? I mean, I'm sure once this vlog goes up, I'm gonna get email it. Okay. It's nothing. Unbox it. Unbox the check next week. What? <laughs> Just this tour check. Alright. I mean, what? Reach the people, man. You should put VIP tour packages out. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. We can so sell. So for X amount of dollars, you'll so get. That was my other column over here. Self funding. There's like. VIP packages. VIP packages. Skip the line. I like the campaign. Well, what I'm talking about is. Aside, so. <sighs> not. We're not. We're not, uh, I'm not talking about crowdfunding. Mm. I'm talking about, we get our sponsors to fund this. Okay. On top, of that, on top of that, we sell VIP, sell VIP packages, packages. Yeah, that before would be, the tour yeah. to help with fucking yeah. making shirts and getting things made. Not necessarily a way to I got the tour, but a way to help us fund the other stuff. Because, yeah, we're not asking for any money as far as making product. Making product, yeah. No. And we're going to have to make a shit ton of product. Yeah, we're going to be putting our, our own. That's why we can't pay for this. It's <laughs> because all of our money's going to be tied up. All the other shit. Yeah, making merch. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. Well, that's cool. They say I need to just sit down and write out like what they will be giving and the ideas. I sent you the route on paper. I'm also sending you the route on the screenshot. Okay. I also have to design regular drops around all this shit too. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Another thing is I can't just like rely on the pop-up shit to keep everything going. The pop-up shit is funding us to be out there doing that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the sponsors help with that and our VIP packages help with that. Yeah. But it's more so just a little like extra income. We still need the income of the fucking online shit. And that's the other thing you can do. There's certain, like yes, the tour shirt and tour designs that are exclusive to these places will only be available in these places, but some of these things, some of the designs that we make can easily be turned into something more generic. Eric, yeah, it's yeah. released online. Yeah, for it sure. doesn't. Yeah, we people, can get some miles out of it. Yeah, people forget and, and that I have to come up with shit every single week. So it's like, um, some of these designs are too good to only release 50 shirts of ever. ever. What? Something to think about too before is if we want to go from London or from Chicago to London, from London to Tokyo. That's you, man. I mean, that's me. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we didn't go to London Sneaker Con the second time. I have a pretty big fan base in London. It'd be pretty sick to do a happy crap pop up in London. I'm just saying, London to Tokyo would make sense. Not just me. <laughs> I mean, it's your call. Yeah, I'm Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of like, hey, say we should do this. Seen a man's dad before? Ouch! No, I didn't even hit myself with it. Should break? Come on, man. We're good. Quality. Mm -hmm. Our shirt is in urban necessities today, so PJC sent me this. Set up too. Yeah, we need a new AI yeah, drop. No, I'm talking yeah. about UN, like having a stock of shit that's always for sale at UN. Yeah, there's not a few on our stores. website. Yeah, there's a few stores that we should do that. Yeah. Dude, I just all day these Nike people, all day. I don't understand it because my whole argument is like, I don't care what you guys wear. I don't care what you fucking like. Like, fine, you like all this shit, that's great. Why do you feel the need to tag me in it? Yeah. It's like why if you like do I start off my post every night I'm like, hey Nike fans, you fucked up today. <laughs> you didn't buy this. <laughs> like, I don't get it. That's so if you're feeling it so hard then Why are you just like getting hit in the face? <laughs> he loves it. Like what is wrong with it? They said you were gonna calm down. But you haven't yet. Hmm. He's such a freak. Can you earn? Yeah. He would say it. I said, yeah, we're playing out the tour. Goodbye. You're going to be gone for a long time. And he goes, wait, hmm. 
how long am I gone for? And I was like, forever. He goes, seriously, I said, it's an indefinite tour. Went on the dog walk, found a dirty urn. The shoe's coming later, they're just not here yet. Oh, shit. It's like a straight up. It's like a dagger. Dude, I can't get this thing undone. This Velcro thing came apart. Oh, shit. Shit's like Highlander shit. Yeah, dude. It's a nice little shank. Yeah. You wanna get poked? No. It's just Pakistan on the back. It's from Lars. Oh, Lars, you gotta tell me if I can't cut through something, dog. Might have just cut the motherfucking garment with my fucking boost plate. Woo! Close call. Tie dye Ted shirt? I don't know yet. I'm gonna look at all this stuff first. We have an air travel <laughs> instant picture book. This thing's actually kinda sick. I feel like this is one of those engagement boxes that are telling me how like, we're going on a trip to fucking Maui or something. It's like, he sent me this CD, he wants me to listen, or a couple of CDs, I guess he wants me to listen to. Nice, thanks Lars. All kinds of shit in here. Just a motherfucking shout out box. My man sent me a Pokemon card. I gotta read why. Pokemon, just some cards I thought you would enjoy for my collection. Oh, nice. I've never had a Pokemon card in my life. God damn, it's just like a, oh, sneaker admirals. This will come in handy later. Everything has its cosmic timing. Lars Nelson. I love, Please do the I, right love, thing. I love Lars. There's all kind of, there's a, I don't know if this Lego was put together when you shipped it. Yeah, cause it's it not ain't now. Shipped, it ain't put together now. I don't know if that's a challenge. But when I was a child, I used to do puzzles upside down. Cause I was so good. Nice, nice letter from him too. I wanna to read that, cause it's personal. Get off my shit. He ain't send you nothing. He ain't send you nothing. I don't think this is for you. Here I am thinking it's from fucking Twitch. Oh shit, son. Oh shit. It's going on the shelf cause I don't wear watches, but. Yeah. Still. That G shot. And Lars, thanks for the gifts, my bro. James from Quebec. Thank you for the power of strength. In form of the blade. Did my man buy a shirt for me and then customize it and then send it back to me? Maybe. Is that really, is that really what we're doing here? No. 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 No, it's just a blank. How did he get a blank shirt with our tag on it? I don't know. Not for me, me. I gotta ask. Oh, Brandon. it's a long No, it's one of our shirts. It's a long tee. Oh, I see. For me, that's Thanks awesome. Thanks, It's cool. I appreciate it. Died by bad words. I like it. That nice. This is also from Canada. Yep. Pretty serious. Damn. Oh, there's a box for the Tangy God. Yeah, I get my own box. Damn. Trap Jack. Nice. Is it from Koala? Yeah, Koala. Oh, the guy. Okay. Damn, man. Damn, son. The keychain. Oh, yeah, it's doing it, huh? This is This is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice hoodie. It's like a Gucci. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man, they fucking hooked it up. Yeah, that's what he said, dude. He was like, I am sending you guys a bunch of shit. Yeah. I was like, all right, apparently. It's got like a koala, like embroidered and shit. Like yeah. Jogger combat fit. Nice. I don't know if those are gonna fit. We'll see. Those look a little small for me. I'll take them. You have your own box. Oh yeah, that's right. Back up off my shit. Nice, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Nice. So shout out to koala. Try them on over the next little bit. So I heard that you were uh, nervous about how long this tour is going to be. Well, yeah, that's interesting to me. We're going to talk about it on camera. Why would we not talk about it on camera? Then? Um, well, it's just long to be away from home. That's you were going to be gone that long anyway. How old is four and a half weeks? This is ten and a half. Weeks. Uh, it's first off, it's ten, and second off, well, actually, it'll probably be more like eleven or twelve if you count Japan. But yeah, that's a long time to, to go away and to be a lot more responsible. Driving, it's just a lot of it's just a lot of stress when and it's when I'm just shipping out a shit ton of stuff and I'm worried about that today. And I'm trying to keep my mind on that. And Sager's like, looks like you're gone forever. All right, and I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll talk to you later. No, I'm ready. We need a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. A fucking like streamliner or fucking one of those Mercedes fucking things or a tour bus like and are we driving yeah a Winnebago like we're gonna split the driving because statistically you're gonna kill me if I just let you keep driving I have it all mapped out dog. look I have it all mapped out I have each city how long it's gonna take us to get there each day like I have it all it's all right here we've got it mapped out we know what we need I know how much these things are gonna cost us 
We just need to sit down and like write out the proposal. It's simple, dog. And then if we can't get sponsors to do it, we just need to sell. Are we need to sell a thousand one hundred dollar stickers to put on the back of our tour our tour vehicle? We'll crowdfund it. Like, hey, you want your Instagram on the back of the vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just like map it out. Like, <laughs> no, you open the night. Um, Omar. Just waiting on these sneakers. All right, I'm going back to ship then. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. So we have to go early tomorrow. Yeah, how long, how far is Colorado Springs? An hour? No, it's longer than that. Let me hit the end of the GPS hour. right now. Yeah, we're gonna have to be here at like seven. Are you serious? Usually today is mostly planning things out. It's uh, almost four o'clock. We usually start uh, trying to edit by now, but I'm waiting on these shoes to come in still. Hopefully they get here soon and we can get this popping. Yeah, I actually need to just work on this still, honestly, just kind of mapping out more stuff, figuring out costs, how to pay for all this. Uh, yeah, that was the day. Some days are just that, planning and talking and, you know, trying to navigate navigation. Uh, my brain's a little fried. I'm gonna wait on these shoes to come in and then that's pretty much gonna be it. Shout out to Koala though. So all this stuff, super cool, super cool. This vlog is me long as fuck, by the way. Um, the cosmic timing of everything here. Um, shout out to my man, John Adams. These are his socials on the top. No, you can't focus. Could you focus for me? Thank you, camera. So that's my man. I believe started with his friends, the Sneaker Admirals. These are all of the people that I do believe began the Sneaker Admirals. This would be their card. They have their like, like nice little online campaign going, so if you're uh, interested and you want to check them out, everything you need to know is right there. But these came from my man, Presidential John Adams. That's not his real name. He's not a president, nor is his name John. The Kith drop happened, so I obviously had a plug for Kith. My plug showed up to the store. I got a text, hey, there's no 13 in the shoe. I had already missed the online drop because I pretty much thought I was good. You know, normally there's at least one size in stock, but fuck me, I should've known better. And my man got a pair. He tweeted that he got a pair. I quoted his tweet and told him that he was dead to me. It's a joke. You know, he we he got in the DMs, we worked it out. We honestly worked it out for retail because he's the fucking man and just hooked me up because he knows he knows what I'm all about. And uh, yeah, he, he's the man. He came to one of my first pop-ups. You know you're the man. I appreciate you, of course. And I absolutely love the shoe, so. Couldn't be happier about the situation. And uh, and of course, I'm gonna hook my man up. I'm not gonna let him just take the L because I don't think there's that many pairs in 13 in this shoe that exists. There are only like four on the internet from what I saw. But let's take a look. Ah, big box. It's a huge box. The last pair didn't come in this big ass box. This box is enormous. Boom, boom. Put on this cardboard shit in here. Damn, son. I don't think we're gonna be able to review these today because I gotta wear them. I mean, they're probably gonna get the same performance review as the other one, but. Whew. Yeah, these are fire. They're definitely fire. So hyped to get these. I love the blue pair. The missing Columbia thing on the back is a big deal to me, though. This looks very bare compared to the blue one. You have the kith on the side this time. But I'm not gonna review these today. I know long ass vlog. This vlog will be 45 minutes if I review them, so I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. To take a look. I'll probably just wear these tomorrow. But yeah, man, shout out to the motherfucking plug, man. Fire! All right, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.